Hello, I am back with a new tutorial. This is uh, sort of a response to my first video, which was about making the uh, Dave Hill effect. Uh, and that effect involves quite a few steps. And personally, I can't remember them all in my head, and I use the effect quite a lot. So what I want to show you is how to do save all those steps in an action. So you just press your actions button, and in a few clicks you have the effect, which is, uh, well, very smart. <laughs> um, but in this uh, particular effect, you have to insert a stop because there are some things in there that will be different for each picture you use this effect on, and that is what I'll be showing you. And uh, you start off with your picture, like I have here, and you open up your actions palette. If you don't have it already, you go up and down, uh, and you click actions. There you go. First thing you want to do is uh, click the new set button to create a folder. Let's call this uh, example and click OK. And then you click the uh, new actions button and let's call this uh, Dave Hill. And you choose your folder that you just made, example, and you click record. Now, every step that you do now, it will record. So don't fuck it up because you will have to start over. Um, and I'm go now going to skip ahead to the part where we have to insert the stop. So in order to do this, just follow my first tutorial if this is the effect you want to record. And let's get it over here. Now, this is the part that um, where you have to insert the stop to do this individually on every picture. To insert the stop, you go up here to this little icon with the arrow and the lines, press it, and you go to insert stop. Now there's a little message box and you just press whatever or you type in whatever it is that you have to do. So choose brush and paint with black over eyes bleh, mouth hair etc and press play button when finished. Okay, and don't click off this allow continue because that will give you very little time to do what it is you have to do now. So just press OK. And now you do what I just typed in. You paint the eyes, the mouth. I'm doing this very, very quick just to show you. And there we go. And now you just continue on uh, with the rest of the tutorial. <coughs> and when you're done with everything, you press the stop button over here. Just like that. Uh, and very important, I will show you that this actually works in a minute. But before we do that, we have to save this action. Because what happens is, if you were to close down Photoshop right now and then open it again, that action will be gone and you have wasted everything you just did. It's important is to save it. Go we choose first of all we choose the folder that we just made called example. Go up to this little icon again and you go down to save actions. And save it somewhere outside of Photoshop. Have a folder somewhere, I have an actions folder and I'll just save it in there. So that if it disappears from Photoshop you can always load it back from that folder. Okay, so now we have the action, and uh, I will show you that it actually works. I'm going to go back to this untouched picture here, and I have recorded the full tutorial up here called Dave Hill Effect. I recorded all the steps and the stop and everything, and you will see how this works. Very simple and very few clicks. So choose your effect in your folder, Dave Hill Effect, and you press the play button. And you'll just sit back and watch. The stop will pop up again and tell you what. There it is. Choose your brush and with black over the eyes, mouth, hair, etc. And press, press the play button when finished. So you just press this and then you do your thing. Very quickly here. Just to show you. Like that. That's done. And press the play button again. And it will do everything for you. Now this. Uh, will not work for every picture because every picture is different, different resolution, blah blah blah. 
but it will work. But sometimes you will get a better effect if you go in picture and do it individually so that you can change the specific settings to your desired values. But this is just a, a time saver and the result looks good. Let's see here. That was the before picture and then just clicking the action button. This is the result that we came up with. Uh, you can do this with any type of effect that you use a lot. Uh, if you have a favorite, say, black and white uh, effect that you use a lot, record it into an action, and you just have to use very few clicks to get it. Uh, if you have a glow effect, whatever it is, record it into an action because it saves you a lot of time, and you don't have to remember all those steps every time. So I use this effect quite a lot, so this action is very helpful and a big time saver for me. Uh, yeah, I just showed you this because I would wanted to teach you how to insert that stop, which uh, you have to customize. This. Sorry, you have to customize that step for every picture, uh, but most of the times you won't have to insert a stop. So this was the uh, slightly more complicated version. Anyway, I will shut up now and. Uh, Hope that you could use this for something. And uh, leave me a comment. And I will see you soon. Bye.